community. The workers have so elected them under the free democratic rights of American and under the Taft-Hartley law. And they have filed for 10 years, according to Goldblatt's testimony, non-communist affidavits. All right, would you uh, allow... If you think it's it, wrong, you investigate that. Would you allow, as a Teamster official, a man who was a communist, who was elected by the membership? We don't have any communist in just our Teamsters. Just a moment, please, that I know of. But if the membership saw fit to elect a man who had been tagged, tagged, mind you, as a communist, who disavowed the fact that he was a communist, and no proof was presented under our Constitution of the International Union. We would not be in a position to dislodge him from his elected position. Neither would the courts let us do it. However, the provision you're looking for in our Constitution is very clear. <laughs> and it talks about the question of communism. I helped write the article, so I know it. You don't need to read it to me. Right. And I say to you, though, that I'm talking about tagged individuals, and Bridges and Goldblatt are tagged. Oh, Mr. Hoffman. Tagged. What do you mean? There's no question about Mr. Goldblatt, although there can be a question about Mr. Hoffa. There's no question about Mr. Goldblatt. Oh, wait a minute. Just he a moment. Don't say anything about England a question about Hoffa. There is no question about Hoffa. And don't you say that either. Don't you say that I'm a communist or even affiliated with one. You've said that enough around this country. And I want the American press to know that I resent the fact that there is any inference that I'm a communist, that I'm associated with or controlled by communists, and don't use this as a sounding board for headlines for that purpose. And I appeal to the chair that that be taken out of the record and that nobody cast any aspersions on my loyalty to this country. Just a moment. I, I, I object to it, sir. At the moment, read, read back. Oh, well, I'll, I'll straighten the record out. I was talking about Mr. Bridges and Mr. Goldblatt. Well, don't put me in their class, then. Why did you put him in there? Clinton? No, I just said there is, although there might be some question, and I said Mr. Hoffa instead of Mr. Bridges. I meant, uh, although there might be some question about Mr. Bridges, there is absolutely no question about what? Mr. Goldblatt. And evidently you agree the same thing, Mr. Hoffa. Wait a minute. Or otherwise you wouldn't have said, don't put me in their class. Don't you put me in a class that they're tagged. That's what I said. <laughs> and I say tagged. But I want to have, if you will, sir, the record cleared that there are no aspersions on me being associated with, controlled, or any part of the Communist Party in America. Well, all right. Uh, as of now, there is no such implication. That isn't correct, just sir. Just a moment. Wait, uh, uh. Just a moment, now. If there is, we'll read the record back and straighten it out. Thank you, sir. Is there any such implication? In an alliance with Mr. Harry Bridges and Mr. Goldblatt. And you're going to get back to say too, then. And the fact that they are uh, have been associated with the Communist Party. Well, then and you'll that be you've made an alliance with Buffalino, them. So Jim. And the, that you've made an alliance with them. And I think it's a very critical situation. Now I would. Did you receive any of the fee that he obtained, the forty thousand dollars that he got in that case, directly or indirectly? Absolutely not. And you you had, know it. You had been you had been in business uh, with Mr. Matheson, had you not? With my own money. But you had been in business. With my own money, yes. Uh, do you have any evidence of the $20,000 in cash that you put into the business? I don't need any evidence. I You'll take my word for it as the Internal Revenue has. Could you describe a little of it, uh, Mr. Hoffman? No, sir, I cannot. And I don't, care to, I don't care to try and recall back my entire lifetime since I started working at the age 17 as to how I accumulated money or how I spent it to finally arrive at having $20,000 I could afford to invest and could, finally lost. Could you ask, was it in cash that you put it yes. in? Yes. Was there, do you have any record of it? No. Would you tell us where you got the cash? I accumulated it. From your uh, salary? From whatever investments I had or salary or income, did but it was of, accumulated. Did, did any of this come out of the winnings that uh, Mr. It Brennan made at the racetrack? Very easily it could have. Could I ask you whether Mr. Brennan is still winning at the track? I believe he is. I hope we have luck this year. We haven't finished yet. How much have you turned over to him to gamble? So far this year, nothing. You kept me too busy. How much I will. has he uh, won for you? <laughs> How much has he won for you? None this, this moment, year. I haven't 